Hey, we're Barats and Beretta, and we want you to watch this guy. Tabin Dillard, our new best friend. Play ball. It is softball season again, and I took a couple seasons off just because it was a little, a little stressful on the wallet, on the pocketbook a little bit, and I needed to kind of refocus, I think. I wasn't hitting the ball, wasn't making much of contact or anything. Ended up feeling more like a cheerleader. Of course, when I get on base, I'm pretty fast. You kind of got a little bit of everybody. Every softball team's got it. Kind of looks different, but you got the old boy people kind of call coach. He's pretty good. Not the best on the team, but he makes for, up for it because he's pretty good at just, uh, you know, saying, hey, how you doing, Chief? Hey, what's going on today, boss? Hey, Tiger, how, how's work going? He don't really listen, but he'll talk a lot, and you think that he asks you a question that he wants an answer to, uh, it, uh, he don't really. And he puts himself at first base because he, he kind of knows that uh, he wants to be in the game all the time, and he ain't going to pull himself out, but he also knows that he, he's going to drop a lot of balls in the outfield. And then you got the chubby fella, you know, the one that like, he can, he can belt it out of the park. Myron Curtis is one on our team. He's the one in town. He thinks he can box, thinks he can karate, and thinks he can do anything, but he can softball. The boy knows how to softball. Wears two knee braces, ain't gonna run out of, he ain't even gonna run out a double or a triple. You know, he just gotta make some contact boy in there, and he's gone, uh, he stinks. You know, halfway through the first inning, he's sweating like a drowned pig, but he, he can hit the ball. And you got your third baseman who's kind of limber and who probably could have played college ball at somewhere at some point in his life, but instead he made some bad decisions and maybe ended up with a kid or two. And then he got settled down about, you know, earlier than he intended to, stayed around town. And he's lean and he's got himself a nice arm, arm like a rocket. In our case, that's James Tidwell. It's Rusty's cousin. He's on our team. He's a good player. Then you got the guy that ends up at catcher. He's not really good, and sometimes they put me back there, but he's the guy that ends up, they like him around because he's nice, and he ends up paying for guys that can't afford it. I can catch a fly ball pretty good, but my arm's kind of weak. So we need a cutoff man or the cutoff man. But if you ask me to make a prediction, I say out of the, I think we got a 16-game season, I think it is. Uh, you know, I could go either way any day of the week. I'm going to say we'll probably win three games, maybe four, because some of them boys have three or four Myron Curtises who can just put a hurting on a softball. I mean, the softball, when it leaves the pitcher's hand and that softball sees where it's heading, you can hear it kind of weep a little bit. You can hear it kind of squeal. Maybe it's just in my head, but I, I could have sworn I heard the softball laugh when it was coming at me. Up a chair or an old truck tire. Get yourself round that old trash fire. Well, the door's never locked, so there's no reason to knock. It's time for trailer talk.